So just because you're a vegan and you're eating cooked vegan food doesn't mean you're healthy. You're actually healthier than any meat eater, period, okay? But if you have lymphatic stagnation, if your kidneys are not filtering properly and you're on cooked vegan food, you are not going to get better. You're not going to be able to remove those acids and that mucus that's stuck in your body, okay? Cooked vegan food cannot remove that. And so if you don't move that, if you're not eliminating metabolic waste, if you're not eliminating digestive waste properly, you cannot heal, you cannot get better. You have to understand this very, very clearly. So if you're trying to heal, if you're trying to grow your hair, you're trying to remove some obstacle, some obstruction, you have to go on 100% fruits, period. At the least case scenario, you have to go on 100% raw vegan food okay it can never be cooked because if it's cooked the detox pro uh, process stops it's very important that you understand this just because you are vegan again doesn't mean you're healthy you are healthier than a meat eater by far but if you have obstructions if you're trying to get rid of mucus you can't do that unless you use 100 percent fruits or at the uh, worst case scenario raw vegan food even raw vegan food it's not the best to use when you're trying to heal at the fastest rate possible. You want 100% fruits, citrus fruits, melons. These are going to get you clean. These are going to heal you, okay? Very simple, folks. It's, but you have to understand this. Clean the body out first with the fruits. Then you can go back to the vegan cooked food. It's fine, but not the other way around. You can't clean the body with vegan cooked food, okay? Starches have acid hit on the body. When you digest a starch, it has an acid hit on the body. This means the body becomes acidic and you want to reverse it and you want to get alkaline. So you have to go on 100% fruits, raw fruits to heal and to get alkaline.